हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आज हम क्लास नाइन्थ वाटर सिक्योरिटी वर्कबुक में से यूनिट नंबर वन का चैप्टर नंबर वन वाटर साइकिल इसके क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करेंगे सो लेट्स स्टार्ट यूनिट वन वाटर एजुकेशन चैप्टर वन वाटर साइकिल नेम ऑफ द एक्टिविटी टू अंडरस्टैंड द वाटर साइकिल फ्रॉम अ रेप्लिका मॉडल ऑफ द वाटर साइकिल पर्पज इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ द एक्टिविटी This activity aims to help students understand the water cycle by creating a model. It illustrates how water transforms from vapor to liquid and solid forms, emphasizing the continuous circulation of water on earth. This hands-on experience fosters a deeper comprehension of this crucial natural process. Proposed time duration for the activity: approximately 45 minutes to 1 hour. Materials and apparatus required for the activity: one, a large transparent container or jar with a lid to represent the atmosphere; two, small containers to represent bodies of water like lakes or rivers; three, water; four, heat source, example lamp or sunlight; five, ice cubes; six, small dust particles, optional. Seven mountains or barriers. Example books. Eight markers to label containers. Methodology of the activity. One fill a container with water to represent a body of water like a lake or river. Two place this container inside the larger transparent container representing the atmosphere. Three label the smaller container water source. Four. Seal the larger container with a lid. Five. Apply heat to the transparent container to simulate the sun's heat. Six. Observe condensation forming on the inner surface of the transparent container, resembling clouds. Seven. Place ice cubes on top of the lid to mimic higher altitudes. Eight. Observe water droplets forming on the lid. representing cloud freezing 9 tilt the transparent container to simulate rain falling back into the water source 10 use books or barriers to block the movement of clouds 11 observe the water cycle process in action diagrams photographs of the activity concepts that have become clear during the activity 1 evaporation water turning into vapor due to heat 2 condensation vapor turning into water droplets when cooled 3 precipitation rainfall as a result of cloud condensation 4 cloud formation and freezing what new things did you learn I learned how to create a simple but effective model to visualize the water cycle process including evaporation, condensation and precipitation. It helped me understand how different factors like temperature and altitude affect this natural cycle. Conclusion This activity provided a practical demonstration of the water cycle making it easier to grasp the concept. It showcased how water changes states and circulates through the atmosphere, land, and bodies of water. Write your own opinion experience about the activity. I found this activity to be engaging and educational. It enhanced my understanding of the water cycle, and I enjoyed creating the model and observing the different stages of the cycle. Cooperation from the parents Parents were supportive in providing materials and assisting with the setup of the activity. Opinion of the parents. Parents appreciated the hands-on nature of the activity as it made learning about the water cycle more enjoyable for their child. They observed increased understanding and interest in the subject. Persons who have helped you. My science teacher guided me in setting up the activity. and my parents assisted in gathering materials list of the reference materials 1 water education chapter 1 
water cycle. 2. Online resources for water cycle models and diagrams. 3. Class notes on the water cycle. Great video. Mom. Yes. I found the good channel for study. Great. Like the video. Share it to your school friends. Subscribe to it. But what's the channel's name? Wings of Fire Academy.